Listen, and you will hear stories of beauty, strength, and inspiration. Let's talk women talk. Art for Life is something uh, that I came up with. It was sort of like a thing that you do for hours on end. It could be cooking, it could be like sports. It's just your art, your soul. But I think slowly, if you start feeding it, it will kind of like lead you to somewhere interesting. Marini Ramlan, better known as Nini, is a content developer from Malaysian TV, a graphic artist, a painter, a designer, and a fashion model. Her philosophy, Art for Life, also transpires into a voluntary class she created to teach and inspire kids and youth from difficult backgrounds in the Chowkit area in Kuala Lumpur. It started with me teaching my nieces and nephews art um, because I think art should be fun. And I, I saw my niece and nephew really enjoy it and they're, they're imaginative now. So I want to kind of give back to society and I thought, okay, well, everybody's giving money, so why don't I just kind of like give art classes? Tell us a little bit about these teens and what kind of backgrounds they come from. Well, uh, these teens live around Chowkit area in Kuala Lumpur. And these kids come from, I would say, underprivileged homes. And so the KL Crash Pad is simply a center for them to kind of like get away from their everyday life and to just like be kids and just do things on their own time. How do you feel your art engages them or art engages them? I think art is very therapeutic. If I teach them how to just doodle and just express themselves, maybe it's uh, an escape from their everyday life. It's also a tool to express themselves better because not all of them can speak fluently, not all of them can write fluently. Okay. Uh, you just do whatever you want to do. So my first class, what I did was I put in a lot of random things on, on table like this and I told them to paint it and they just went, huh? I can't paint that. So I said, well, zoom into it and try to find sort of like a pattern in it. And these are first timers and so this is well, one kid did that and it's a top view of a Lego that I found and I just placed it on the table and he decided to do that and the colours were all his choice. So it was a good audition for me to see where they were at and I'm glad to see that they are quite good. So oh, this is really I can't beautiful. wait. Yeah. I love the blue. The this blue, right? And so yeah, literally I just want them to look at it one time and then draw because you draw from your brain kind of thing. How do you think um, you know, art influences them? Them, it will kind of like influence the way they think and the way they see things. Hopefully when I do classes with them, I want them to see something that's not in front of them. I always say, paint what you don't see. And I think that's really important for people to kind of like understand about art as well. It's all about you, it's about your expression. Just play. You never know what's going to come up. Why do you think it's important for um for these teens to get out of their comfort zone? I think it's so important for them to kind of like just go out and use their imagination and have no fear because if they just continue on with like you need to do certain things certain ways then you'll be templated and you'll be formatted and you will only live life at that level but if you kind of like break free from that and kind of like become more adventurous I think it will trickle down to your reality and I think you'll become a a, a higher version of yourself. So hopefully art will help them with that. What do you love most about working with these teens? It's really relaxing and I feel really good. I feel like uh, I've connected to them on a different level and gotten to know them better. So I feel really, really happy. It's a happy feeling, yeah. What is your hope uh, for these teens that you work with? Um, I want them to know that the world is no longer in Malaysia. I think they need to go out and see what's out there. And art is the only, about the only thing I know that transcends and doesn't have to have a language. People can like your pictures and you will find that there will be like-minded people around. Nini, what is empowerment to you? Empowerment means freedom. Freedom to just open yourself to all kinds of possibilities because you never know where that's going to take you in the future. Thank you so much. You are really an inspiration and I love your art. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For Nini, art is not just her way of life, but a creative, imaginative and inspirational way to make others' lives better.